welcome to the viewers and learners today we are going to discuss one of the important subjects the particular the case laws related to the sale of goods as we discussed in uh, several um, uh, of our uh, earlier recordings the consumer protection co uh, covers two aspects one is the sale of goods and the hiring of the services now in today's lecture we are going to exclusively discuss the case law related to the sale distribution marketing of the goods only then in this what uh, we will have one more lecture on the case law related to services now let us straight away take the what are the important uh, selected case laws rather i would like to put it now the first work leads to the defective car sold as a brand new car wherein the manufacturer unnecessarily contested the claim filed by the consumer this is the case decided in the case of jos philip philip versus premier automobiles limited uh, this jos philip is an advocate by profession residing in kerala he placed an order for the uh, purchase of the premier auto premier car then he placed the order by paying the full, full price then on the date of delivery the this advocate went to the showroom to take a portion of the delivery to take delivery of the car then at that time he noticed that certain cars were painting of the car was not properly then he informed the dealer that look here the car the painting of the car is not been uh, properly done so i he refused to take the delivery then the dealer asked him to come after a few days then again after a few days he went and saw that the painting was not done properly however and refused to take the possession of delivery, delivery of the car however the dealer persuaded him to take the delivery on the, with the assurance that the defects would be cured but uh, based on the assurance that uh, the uh, person has took the, the delivery the advocate but later on when the dealer failed to cure the defects in repeated number of times with the result that he suffered a lot of uh, inconvenience then ultimately he filed a case before the consumer forum with the claim that uh, that the car should be the the dealer should be directed to the give a brand new car that was the claim made by the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the purchaser is concerned however the district forum uh, uh, said that new car branding the new brand new car may not be we cannot pass a direction to give the brand new car however the distributor directed the dealer to repair a car in a carriage of good in a very high standard carriage of the choice of the purchaser and that to a free of cost this is the decision given to the district forum based on the complaint filed by the purchaser and the company went on appeal before the um, uh, state commission and the state commission directed only to repair the car without any uh, of the carry which of the cho cho choice of the uh, the purchase that has not been accepted by the uh, state commission and again uh, the company went before the appeal before the national commission Nas national com dismissed the complaint of person concerned ultimately the matter went before the supreme court now the supreme court by hearing the uh, this um, Uh, allegations on conclusion came to the conclusion that there was a defective in defect in the course, goods that is the car sold uh, uh, to the customer so it is a, there is a defect in the goods concerned i mean that is in any person who sells the car, old car in a brand new one they definitely it will fall and they get that defect in the goods uh, uh, say goods therefore accordingly the supreme court ordered for a refer of the car in the carriage in the carriage of his charge his choice and also the supreme court awarded a cost of rupees 50000 um, cost of the litigation that from the state commission to state commission national commission and in addition to that the national commission awarded a compensation of rupees 40000 towards mental agony undergone so this is very briefly so what do we draw lesson from this cases even whenever we go for any purchase of the vehicles or any other thing if the vehicle is the old vehicle or the old gets sold as a brand new one there if we have a claim uh, before the we can go for the consumer court for getting a necessary relief and there are several cases like this you will come across also in the subsequent discussion that the courts have always uh, given relief to the consumer uh, who is always at the receiving end now we will move to the another case this is about the very interesting case about a purchase of the uh, uh, a mini fanta cold drink was purchased by a, 
a person and when i it's a very when we went home and opened it and found that in the in inside the bottle your full rusted blade was inside the bottle of the mini fanta link cold drink then the fellow made an application complaint before the complaint to the consent dealer the dealer refused to give the relief ultimately the purchaser who purchased that mini fanta cold drink filed a case before the consumer commission alleging that there was a defect in the goods of the the cold drink sold because it contained a one full blade rusted bl- blade in the bottle then the district forum based on the uh, documents uh, based on the uh, uh, applications made then directed that uh, di- directed the dealer to pay rupees 20000 25000 as a compensation for the mental agony undergone all those things and all however the dealer and the company went on before appeal before the state commission so it ultimately the matter came before the supreme court ultimately the supreme court before the, the argument before the supreme court mainly was the blade found inside the bottle containing cold drink could not have entered the bottle accidentally during the process of its packing actually the the company demonstrated before the supreme court that it is humanly not possible to insert the blade full blade in the process of the bottling uh, process of the bottling is concerned and the court agreed to this uh, argument yes it is not possible for a full blade bottle uh, this blade to put inside in, in the process of the bottling however therefore the supreme court come to the conclusion that uh, agree to the uh, argument that there was no deficiency in the product when it came out of the factory that were two two things the com- the supreme court said that there was no deficiency in the service on the part of the factory uh, till the product came out of the uh, out of this factory premises then what the supreme court also ke- perhaps agreed that, that quite possible any of the competitors of this concerned factory they must have purchased this uh, bottle then they must have removed the cork and insert the rusted blade and the fix at the cork again and before um, this would have been done before it is told to the final consumer and the supreme court also accept this possibly accordingly held that there was no defect in the goods sold by the factory of the concerned uh, cold drink however they said that you can file a case against the dealer who sold it and all those things ultimately this is what so uh, in this case uh, this what the uh, decision given the supreme court they gone into the details and came to the conclusion that you cannot sue a factory uh, for the uh, for any defective particles uh, when such like a blade found inside because there was no scope or possibility to put the blade inside during the process of the packing now we will move on to the third case this is about the relative to the farmers that defective seeds sold to farmers by national seeds corporation uh, limited then in this case uh, the what has happened was the national seeds corporation sold seeds to the farmers with the assurance and the claim that the, the this seeds uh, will give a yield of about particular uh, say high, high quality yield and all but ultimately when it was the farmers purchased the seeds and the sowed and sowed and all and that after harvesting they found that the yield was not to the extent as promised by the national seeds corporation at the time of sales it was much much below the uh, quantity level level of uh, as output uh, uh, assured by the national seeds corporation done and that was the, with the result uh, that it led to the failure of the crops and the less yield due to the defective seeds are sold by the supplied by the nsl this otherwise they come to the conclusion that it is because of the defective seeds sold by the national seeds corporation limited they the, the farmers could get only least yield which has led to him for a lot of uh, financial inconvenience losses and all then based on these allegations the district forum again awarded compensation to the farmers based on the papers submitted and all and the state commission national the national seeds corporation limited went on appeal by the state commission national commission both the forum dismissed dismiss the uh, say appeal filed by the uh, this national seeds corporation limited ultimately the matter came before the supreme court of india the issue before the supreme court was whether farmers are covered under the definition of the consumer second is whether the seeds purchased are 
for commercial purpose or for uh, their own uh, say consumption for, for any other purpose. These were the two issues involved in this thing. With regard to the one, for whether the farmers are covered in the definition of consumer, the Supreme Court came to the conclusion that yes, farmers are the consumers as per the definition of the consumer provided in the Consumer Protection Act. That means consumer is the person who buys the goods for a consideration, the, all the requirements, farmer is a person, he purchased the seeds and he purchased the seeds for a consideration, that is the price, therefore he fulfilled the definition of the consumer. Then the seeds purchased are not for commercial purpose, it is for cultivation and it is for therefore any seeds purchased for the purpose of cultivation, for, for, with the, for, for the purpose of own consumption as well as the sale uh, to the marginal sale to the other outside world, that will not amount to commercial purpose. That was the both the argument of the say advance by National Seeds Carbon Limited was uh, turned down by the Supreme Court and held that farmers are consumer and the seeds purchase are certainly not for a commercial purpose. Accordingly, the Supreme Court awarded a cost of rupees twenty five thousand. This is about this case consent. Then one more case is about the again domestic consumption wherein a non-branded compressor fitted in air conditioner after charging for brand one compensation was awarded in this case in this case what has happened was a person purchased the air conditioner by it was a very little old case of 90s early 90s air conditioner purchased by paying rupees 19,250 but the air conditioner neither branded one nor are a new one as promised the trader promised that uh, the air conditioner new branded one and also it's a new one only but neither it is found to be branded one it's not a branded quality it is at a local quality but they pro they um, said that it's a branded quality wherein the uh, air conditioner sold was a local quality a local brand again it was the new piece it was a old piece only the, again the promise the trader promised that it's a new piece but uh, actually they delivered the old piece only now, after the purchase of the air conditioner, the, the fam, family members, have, they could not get the record in the benefit of it. That means it did not work throughout the season, throughout the whole season. And whenever we purchase the AC for a house or otherwise also, at least it should serve, it should um, function at least for one full season of four or five months like place in Delhi and all. But it not, did not even last for one season. Then accordingly, the case was filed before the consumer forum, alleging defect in the goods sold. That is what the allegation was. The trader promised that he will sell a branded one, whereas he did not sell the branded quality. Instead, he, placed the, he sold the local brand quality against the promise made. And also, he promised that the new piece will be given against the new piece is going to be given the old piece only. The, the district forum came to found that both the arguments were correct and accordingly directed the dealer to pay the entire price, uh, price uh, to the purchaser along with the interest at the rate of 18 percent and again uh, the dealer and the company went on appeal before the national commission unfortunately the national commission in addition to upholding the, uh, the, the decision of the district forum to, uh, to uh, the direction to repay the full price with the interest rate, the National Commission also awarded a compensation of rupees 10,000 uh, in inclusive of cost for the mental agony and undergone and all there again. See, the case is about the, it is about the air cool for, dom for uh, domestic consumption, whenever you purchase anything, even the cool drinks, even the farmer's leaks, these things are, even the car, these are the items related to the day, daily new, uh, our, our everyday use. But in all the cases, we found that the, the purchaser have filed a case and they get the relief in uh, all these cases. Now we will move on to one or two cases also. Now again, it's related to the mobile purchase. In this case, what has happened, a new mobile with old software, you know, due to advanced te advancement of technology, it is not possible for a common man to differentiate between the old software or a new software. This is about the Samsung India, this is Samsung India, uh, is a, the manufacturer uh, in India. So the Samsung, in, Samsung India held liable for selling that uh, mobile phone with the old software, uh, with the, uh, claiming that it was a new software. The mobile was purchased for, a, a, mo, uh, the, a person purchased the mobile handset for rupees 21,000 rupees. But unfortunately, the mobile did not function properly even for a single day. 
you we are you, uh, we, if we pay 21000 for to purchase the mobile and if the mobile is not functioning even for a single day definitely there is a serious manufacturing defect so accordingly the purchaser filed a case before the district forum and the district forum directed refund of the entire cost of 21000 to the purchaser along with the compensation rupees 4000 for the mental agony undergone again the company uh, went on appeal uh, for the state commission again the state commission held that the company was liable for unfair trade practices unfair trade the serious offense in putting the old software into the handset and selling it as a new set and also the, the state commission upheld the di- uh, direction issued by the state commission and the appeal by the company was dismissed this is about the mobile set case now we will move on to now we, we move on to discuss another interesting case that is uh, related to the insect found back in the biscuit uh, that is when this case related to the united biscuits private limited versus bhuvneshwar nanda he is a person who purchased this uh, 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 biscuit back in biscuit is concerned now the purchaser mr bhuvneshwar nanda purchased a box of mary biscuit of 3 kg quantity in a pack when we, we he went home and opened the pack and noticed that an insect packed with one of the biscuits and which is hazardous to health naturally when we purchase a say biscuit or anything when we wanted to eat it at the time at the time when you find that some insect dead insect is found inside definitely every we feel it will be a matter of serious health hazard so therefore the the person did not consume the did not allow the family members to consume the biscuit then again he approached the company and the dealer they refused to give any relief ultimately he filed a case of a case in the district forum uh, for a compensation of a rupees of compensation along with the cost of the uh, cost uh, claimed by him uh, the alleged that there was the the, the the main allegation was the biscuit is so is a is a goods and it is it is a defective goods is sold by the uh, company therefore the company should be held liable for the uh, for selling the defective goods now the district forum awarded a compensation of rupees 5000 along with cost of rupees 500 to the purchaser of the mary biscuit pack the state commission the company went on appeal before the state commission the state commission rejected the appeal filed by the company Ultim- this is, so therefore the what is the uh, the state commission held was that uh, in, uh, uh, the uh, the insect found in the bakery definitely falls under the category of defective goods therefore the company will be liable liable and responsible for uh, compensating the purchaser of the goods is concerned now we move on to the another interesting case about uh, this is about the daily wear of the chappal that a lady uh, is, she purchased the uh, sandals and for a high with a high cost and she wanted to just she purchased for using in very important uh, ceremonies like marriage and uh, important functions and all so the she purchased that uh, sandal for the ladies footwear purchased by being the heavy price i mean market price But one she used when there was a marriage occasion was there in the family so she was using that uh, she used, we wore this um, uh, sandal during his brother's marriage ceremony but we did the pros marriage ceremony was on suddenly she fell down as the heel of one of the sandal got separate from the sole and was broken you know we, we can understand the agony and the insult caused to a, that to a, a female lady that with up high of the middle if the sandal got like, like this you know then she fell down means that's a, i mean she must have got insult very badly and the family members also must have felt very sad about it very bad about it also and immediately what she did was she immediately sent somebody to the shop and got the uh, uh, sandal repaired by paying 600 rupees when the ceremony was on again with the repairing after repair, after repairing so not repairing after um, doing that uh, repairing that sandal and she again attend the ceremony came back again due to that uh, no uh, insult caused to her she filed a case before the consumer commission and uh, the observation made by the uh, state commission was brand new sandals purchased for rupees 750 
could not wear the wear and tear even for a day is a clear case of manufacturing defect when we pay 750 rupees even 1000 whatever the amount now if it is not even lasting for one day similar to the it is analogous to that mobile set case where 21000 rupees paid and we that was not even function properly one day similarly like your ac also so everything the object the object is similar if the purchase of goods is purchased at the market price, if it is not uh, say, f- f- functioning properly, definitely it will be a clear cut case of the manufacturing defect. And accordingly, the state commission directed the company to refund the full price of it. And along with that, the, the commission also directed the company to pay a compensation of rupees 500 also to that uh, lady purchaser is concerned. Now we are coming to the another uh, case. Uh, uh, this is about about the again the chocolate related case a defect in the cadbury chocolate alleged shopkeeper from whom chocolate uh, bought not made a party no manufacturing defect revision says, says set aside this is about the case with the cadbury india versus graha uh, parishad that is the case related this is about the cadbury india limited case a, a, a consumer graha parishad the, they purchased this chocolate from this uh, com- company. The chocolate purchased contained insect inside the sealed pack, analogous to that uh, the previous case also. And again, they filed a case before the consumer forum, uh, claiming huge compensation because the Grag Parishad is an institution by itself. Then the content with the allegation that the uh, chocolate contained dead insect inside the uh, sealed pack. Now the district forum, based on the information furnished, directed the company to pay rupees twenty-five thousand and deposit of and also to deposit rupees fifty thousand with the consumer welfare fund and also awarded rupees ten thousand as a cost. The national commission came to the different conclusion: the manufacturing defect could be attributed on the growth of insects in the chocolate after month of purchase by shop owner. No manufacturing defect. That's what the, what the national commission said was. You know, when the when, when the this insects cannot say be alive, cannot remain alive for a period of eight months inside the pack. Therefore, uh, you cannot uh, hold the manufacturing company liable for it all. What they indirectly saying was maybe at the stage of the sale or the dealer, the insect would have got entered into that uh, pack. Then that must have the reason. Certainly. At the stage of manuf- at the stage of manufacturing, if a given insect inside in- entered, it would not have remained alive for a, such a long period. That was the main important observation. So, no manufacturing defect could be attributed on the growth of insects in the chocolate after eight months purchase by the shop owner. That is what very very important. No, the uh, the insect cannot remain alive for a period of eight months after the packing. So, naturally, the obvious thing is. If that insect must have entered at a later stage of maybe one or two or three days before the purchase of the, in any case, insect cannot live for a longer period. Then the order of the district form was rejected and ultimately, the, however, the purchaser was given the option to file a case before the trader, uh, uh, trader or uh, uh, trader person for claiming the compensation and all. Now, there are, these are the important cases about the related to the goods are also. There are several other uh, goods like, you know, even um, like even um, goods like you know, when you purchase uh, um, a gas cylinder and all, there are several cases. You know, the, uh, in a village, for the first time, uh, the gas uh, cylinder was uh, purchased by a person concerned. And you know, village rural level, any new item is purchased by family men, then everybody will come to uh, uh, come together and see what is it and all. In the same way, the for the first time, uh, gas cylinder for uh, cooking was purchased. Then, when at the time of opening and fitting, 10 to 15 children, they just surrounded there with the view to see what is happening, how it is functioning and all. When the, uh, the, the dealer, when, when the shopkeeper, uh, uh, the representative started, uh, uh, say, putting into operation, he, unfortunately, it got bust out and all the children were, uh, say, uh, looking, about, uh, in, about, uh, looking on the uh, uh, cylinder, they got serious injury and some people died also. Now, this is the serious defect in the goods is concerned. Again, when the matter went before the court, the court came, after analysis came to the, then the, one of the argument was 
the children were not the consumer of that uh, 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 cylinder the gas cylinder now the court came to the conclusion it is not in this case it is not necessary the purchaser should be the consumer alone in this case they are innocent children but the purchaser no even though is purchased like in the insurance and all there we have a second party third party claim and all analogous to that even the children are not the direct purchaser if they are the family children of the family members definitely they will also be covered under the definition of the consumer accordingly the argument placed by the company the children who the passer by they are not the consumer that was tendered by the company and accordingly even the children of the village or children of the family they also come under the definition of the consumer if they are approximately or associated with the purchase the goods is concerned these are the important cases related to the goods under the consumer protection as concerned thank you very much please